So here we got some um, multiple choice questions, um, specifically based on digestion. So nothing else, no absorption, no nothing like that. Just the process of breaking down food from the moment we eat it, that pizza that you ate, all the way down um, until it's finished digesting in the intestine. Nothing more than that. So I'll be making more than one part to this because there's quite a lot of questions that the IB made and different variations. So make sure to check all of them out if you can. Make sure also to check out any kind of video on YouTube teaching digestion. You could watch the ones I made where I use some di uh, where I use some diagrams uh, to explain all the processes that happen. But just make sure you understand it before you do the questions. Otherwise, you're going to be memorizing it, and that's not ideal. So first one, where would an enzyme that digests lipids be produced? So I'll, I'll always reveal the options so you can try it by yourself, um, and then I'll explain it. So give it a go. Normally, what I like to do is start labeling what is going on first because it makes me feel um, more like I understand what's going on. So let's label. So large intestine is the thick one, not the long one. The small intestine is the long one. So that's a common confusion. And stomach. So people sometimes get confused where the stomach is. I just follow the, the esophagus. And then I notice it goes into the stomach because um, the liver is right next to it. The liver is almost always, 99% of the time, on the right side of the body, whereas the stomach is on the left side of the body. So you can use that idea if you get confused a little bit. And the pancreas is normally right beneath the stomach. Okay, so what? first of all, you got to know what enzyme digests lipids. So the enzyme is called lipase. Lipase. Now, where is lipase produced? Is it... A, no, it is not produced in um, the liver because the liver produces something else called bile. So I'll show you here. So here's the liver. It produces this green thing called bile. Bile is interesting because it also breaks down fats, but um, it is not an enzyme. They're saying, where would an enzyme that digests lipids be produced? So technically, Bile is produced in the liver, and bile does help break down fats or lipids, but it is not an enzyme. So we got to find where would an enzyme that digests lipids be produced. So therefore, A cannot be correct. How about B? So B is saying 2, the stomach. Now, the stomach does not make any lipids that breaks down fats at all. It only makes stuff that breaks down proteins, so it can't be B. How about C? C is saying 3, pancreas. Um, in this case, yes, the pancreas is true. The pancreas, so this organ right here, releases pancreatic juice, so this red right here, into the um, small intestine. This blue pipe is the small intestine. Now, the small intestine, this pancreatic juice includes all of these things, lipase, endopeptidase, amylase, and bicarbonate. One of these things in the pancreatic juice um, does break down fats, and that's called lipase. And guess what? It ends in ACE, so it's an enzyme. Most of the time, when the words end in ACE, it's considered an enzyme. So therefore, we know, even though bile and lipase break down fats, only lipase is an enzyme. Bile is not an enzyme. So we can conclude that it is 3. It is C. Option is C. Now, why is it not D? So D is saying 4, large intestine. It is not the large intestine because the large intestine is not involved in digestion at all. Digestion stops in the small intestine. Okay, so large intestine is not involved at all. Therefore, it cannot be D either. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Which products are formed by the action of the enzymes protease and amylase? So, bear in mind, so try this by yourself first, but bear in mind that protease is a class of enzymes. Protease includes two enzymes that you need to know about, pepsin and endopeptidase. See here, this is an example of an enzyme that does not end in ACE. So don't always think that if it doesn't end in ACE, it's not an enzyme. This is technically an enzyme. So protease includes these two enzymes. Now amylase includes these two enzymes. So we can either have salivary or pancreatic amylase. Salivary amylase is made in our mouths by the salivary gland whereas pancreatic amylase is made by our pancreas, okay? So, which products are formed when these enzymes act? So let's see first, option A. 
um, they're saying in option A that a product from uh, when protease acts is fatty acids. Um, this is not true. Protease breaks down proteins, and we know when we break down proteins, we get um, amino acids. Okay, so um, cannot be cannot 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 be A. Um, let's see for for this 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 part. Amylase. For this one, it is true. Amylase, salivary and pancreatic amylase work together to break down our carbohydrates or our starch into glucose. So this part of A is correct, but this part of A is wrong. So it cannot be A, therefore. How about B? Um, they're saying when protease acts, glycerol is a product. That's not true because glycerol is a product of breaking down lipids. Remember, the two products of breaking down lipids is fatty acids and glycerol. So protease won't break down lipids into glycerol. Rather, it breaks down proteins into amino acids. So B is already not correct. But let's check this one as well. Amylase does not make the product fatty acids. Remember, it makes glucose. We know glucose is correct. So therefore, both of B is wrong. So definitely B is wrong. How about C? Protease. They're saying a product of protease enzyme is uh, proteins. That's not true. Proteins is the substrate. So remember, when an enzyme acts, it normally binds to a substrate. A substrate is the thing that it wants to break down. And then it makes products, which is the broken down form of the substrate. So in this case, proteins is the substrate, not the product. So technically, proteins do bind with protease, but it's not the product, rather. The Proteins isn't considered the product, but rather the substrate, okay? Therefore, C is wrong. Um, how about this one? This is the same scenario. So remember, amylase breaks down starch or carbohydrates, that kind of um, food, into glucose. So in this case, starch, again, is the substrate. Starch will bind with amylase, but, it will, but starch is not the product. It's the substrate. Therefore, C is incorrect. How about... D. This one must be correct because we just eliminated A, B, and C, but let's confirm. So when, um, so they're saying a product is amino acids of protease. Um, that's true. When protease binds with the substrate proteins, it will break it down into the product's amino acids. So amino acids is the product of protease acting. So, so far we're, we're good. How about amylase? When amylase binds with its substrate starch and breaks it down into the smallest units, um, it could get maltose, okay? Um, sometimes it can get an even smaller form by the name of glucose, okay? So it can either get maltose, which is um, a bit bigger form of glucose, or it can get glucose. So D is correct. So don't think because it's not glucose, it's not correct. Amylase does help break down starch and carbohydrates into smaller forms, one of which is maltose, okay? Eventually, the smallest form would be glucose, but maltose is a product. Okay, so let's get on to the next one. Uh, give it a go by yourself just first. So which part of the body secretes amylase, lipase, and endopeptidase for use in the digest digestion of food? Okay, so three things. We got to find the body part or the organ that makes all three of these enzymes. So let's see. Is it A, mouth? So in the mouth, we make only amylase. Okay, we don't make anything else. We specifically in the mouth, through our salivary glands, make salivary amylase. So technically, we only make one of them in the mouth. We don't make lipase or endopeptidase. So it can't be A. How about B, pancreas? So pancreas, this diagram is good here, pancreas, like I said before, releases pancreatic juice, which contains four enzymes, one, two, three, four, a lipase, endopeptidase, amylase, bicarbonate. Now, so does it make amylase? Yes, it does. Does it make lipase? Yes, it does. And does it make endopeptidase? Yes, it does. So the pancreas will release these three enzymes. So it should be B, but let's confirm by, by crossing out uh, C and D. Does the stomach make amylase, lipase, and endopeptidase? In fact, the, stomach's, the stomach makes none of these. Yeah, um, the stomach does make, um, though, 
pepsin. Okay, it makes pepsin, which is a type of protease, but it does not make endopeptidase. Okay, so in fact, stomach is definitely wrong. It doesn't make any of them at all. How about the small intestine? So the small intestine doesn't release any of these either. The small intestine, so this is a, a tricky thing here. The small intestine is this blue pipe. This is where everything is being mixed and where the actions is happening, but the small intestine itself doesn't make anything. The pancreas makes things and the liver makes things that is released into the small intestine. In the small intestine, when the food arrives, this, um, there will be a reaction where all these food is broken down, but the small intestine itself does not release any enzymes, any digestive enzymes, okay? So that's a tricky thing. This Don't be confused by this. The small intestine itself doesn't make anything, but the reaction happens in the small intestine, okay? Um, okay, let's keep going. Where in the human body is lipase produced? Lipase. So bear in mind, when our body is breaking down food, remember, um, fats aren't digested until we reach the small intestine. So nothing, no fats are broken down in the mouth, no fats are broken down in the stomach, um, and finally, when the pancreas, like I mentioned before, releases lipase um, into the small intestine, that is where the fats are broken down. So the pancreas releases pancreatic juice, which contains lipase, into the small intestine, and when the food arrives, the fats, the lipids, will be broken down by this lipase enzyme. Okay? So, what would you say? It cannot be A, because the stomach does not make anything besides pepsin, and pepsin breaks down proteins. Um, it, cannot, it can be B, because B does make lipase. Can it be C? Now, the gallbladder does not make lipase. Remember, the gallbladder stores... This is interesting. The gallbladder is this thing right here, this organ right below the liver. And whatever the liver makes, the gallbladder will store. And we know that the liver makes bile. So the liver will make the bile and it will be stored in the gallbladder. And eventually when the body needs it, the gallbladder will, will release this bile. And the bile does break down fats, but it's not an enzyme. Um, so lipase is not involved there. How about the liver? So like I just mentioned, the liver makes what the gallbladder holds. So if the liver doesn't make lipase, the gallbladder won't have it either. So it's definitely B. So we'll continue doing some questions in part two as we go, as we keep going. Uh, I hope these are useful and I guarantee you that um, you'll see very, if not the exact same questions copied by your teachers, you'll see very, very similar um, multiple choice style questions if you're doing digest, if you have a test on digestion.